What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2022 Hyundai Kona N, courtesy of Jack G. Volvo Hyundai in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So we are in this one today because this is an N car. This is the performance kind of variant of Hyundai, kind of like the Type R is to Honda, the N is to Hyundai. The difference being you get America's best warranty with Hyundai being five years, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. So that's gonna cover things like the transmission, the engine, things like that. So that's amazing. Not only that, you also get three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. So you don't have to worry about that for three years as well, which is super amazing. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and get started with pricing. And so MSRP for the 2022 Kona N will start at $34,200. Powering the Beast will be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 276 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, 289 pound feet of torque coming in at around 2,100 RPM. Power sent to the front wheels through an eight speed wet dual clutch with paddle shifters and rev matching. So we will be testing out these paddle shifters and rev matching here in a little bit, but wanted to emphasize that a little bit. Not only that, when I say the 276 horsepower, it's actually 286. Reason being, there's a bright red button labeled NGS on the steering wheel. What that does, it's kind of, it kind of simulates nitrous, so to speak. So it adds an extra 10 horsepower when you press that for approximately 20 seconds and then it goes away. So whenever you wanted an extra 10 horsepower, perhaps when you go to the drag strip in the Kona N, you have that ability via that red button on the steering wheel. So I think that is a super awesome feature. It just kind of reminds me of nitrous. So I don't know, I think it's amazing. But anyway, zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 4.9 seconds. Again, we'll be testing that out here in a little bit. Top speed, 149 miles per hour, with MPG numbers coming in at 20 in the city, 27 then on the highway. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test, I wanted to mention the drive modes. There's a little drive mode dial located just in front of the shifter that will include eco, normal, sport, snow, and custom, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. So now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and by the way there is a full manual shift mode you simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that will give you full control over the shifting over the dual clutch so car's not going to shift for you so that's pretty cool as well so let's go ahead and find that straight away and let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here here we go nice yep love that sound I heard the little pop when I shifted the gears too. These paddle shifters are lightning quick and it's kind of what I expected because again, this has a wet dual clutch transmission. It's not your traditional automatic. It most certainly is not a CVT. So this about is the best transmission you can get aside from it being an actual manual, which by the way, isn't available on this, which is perfectly fine because this dual clutch is amazing. It shifts incredibly quick. So I am a huge fan and the paddle shifters again are lightning quick as well. But now having got that out of the way, let's get back full control to the Kona N here and let's do a quick little acceleration test and let's see how quickly the Kona N here can get us up to speed. All right, slight bit of a rolling start here. Go. There it is. Oh, we're spinning. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> this thing is ridiculously quick. Slight bit of torque steer. I can, I can feel myself going a little bit to the left and to the right because that's a crap load of power being sent to just the front wheels, guys. But just ever so slightly. I've had a lot worse torque steer than that. I remember the Ford Focus ST back in the day nearly threw me off the road. So honestly, that wasn't that bad and it is controllable. So excellent, excellent acceleration. I can see this car being a zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. So that was quite brilliant. But anyways, 
to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 14.2 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.4 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes it definitely leans on the firmer side of things which you would appreciate in a vehicle like the kona and it instantly brings you to a stop i would imagine the 60 to zero stopping distance would be in the 100 teens maybe 113 114 if i were to guess i don't know the exact number maybe i'll look it up later but incredibly nice braking feel to this thing without a doubt touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension of course front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes as we're not going anywhere right now at a red light it definitely leads on the firmer side of things i'll say that but that's to be expected in a car like the kona and quite honestly you can feel a decent amount of the road so kind of expect that when you get into this thing as far as the steering feel goes in sport mode right now i still have it in it leans on the heavier side of things which i definitely appreciate it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go it's a very nice feel to the steering in that sport driving mode let's go ahead and put it in eco real quick and honestly it's still not that bad in eco it still leans on the heavier side of things for the most part but it does loosen up a little bit i can tell the difference so i would say we'll leave it in that sport mode or you can put it in that custom driving mode make the steering feel a bit heavier but then you don't necessarily always need that instant acceleration that the sport driving mode gives you so you can kind of tailor it to your own liking so i always like that hyundai does that i do that personally in my sonata as well punching on cabin noise you get a good bit of that exhaust noise in let me tell you guys is absolutely wonderful so definitely stick around for the exhaust clip a little bit later in this video it's going to sound wonderful i have a feeling i already heard some of the pops in this thing but other than that it actually does a decently good job i have no issue with wind noise or cabin noise or anything like that it's just that exhaust note which if you're buying this car you're going to love it then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back and usually in smaller suvs like the kona you're definitely not going to have any issues there and rain sensing windshield wipers are going to come standard then as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 hyundai kona n all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 hyundai kona n finished in sonic blue definitely a color that really grabs your attention on this thing without a doubt but let's go ahead and start off front on this one N specific front fascia of course differentiating itself from the non n trim levels of the kona and badging of course can be found in that front grille as well you do of some red accents or red trim found on the front lip there black hyundai logo can be found in the middle of that front grille as opposed to the chrome hyundai logo that you typically will find on the non-end konas and for anybody who is curious about those cutouts found just above that front grille they are actually not functional they are backed in plastic so i did want to mention that they look dang cool but wouldn't mind it if they were functional up there to the sides then led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights and of course the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there but also automatic high beams coming standard meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically then bump it back up to high beams so that's very convenient as well well in case anybody was curious about the placement of the lighting the headlights are actually found down below and then the led daytime running lights are found up above where traditionally in the past those have been headlights so i did want to mention that as well and of course you do have front air curtains found on the bottom corners there of that front fascia as well but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the kona n and so starting up top black roof rails do come standard black window surrounds also coming standard you will find a floating roof line towards the back there on the c pillar that's kind of a nice look there as well when it comes to the side mirrors they are gloss black power adjustable side mirrors with led integrated turret signals and heated side mirrors then as well which is pretty cool red trim can be found on these side skirts again tying it together with the front lip there take a look down at the wheel setup 19 inch and specific alloy wheels then do come standard but pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back it's open now since we are around to the back you will find an end specific rear spoiler very aggressive looking 
reverse spoiler with a center high mount stop lamp as well. So definitely a very nice look there. LED taillights do come standard. You, of course, do have some end badging found on that rear tailgate as well. Gloss black rear diffuser, very nice looking rear diffuser down to the bottom there. Of course, you got that red trim accents on the rear bumper as well to tie everything together. And to the sides, large dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Now, since we are around to the back of the Kona N, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, there is a button to unlock it on the key fob. There is also a button on the actual tailgate itself. But once opened up, car capacity comes in at 19.2 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 45.8 cubic feet. Also, cargo lighting can be found back there. There's a grocery bag hook, and if you look, were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're actually also going to find some in-floor storage, which is pretty nice there as well. Make your way up then to that rear legroom that is going to come in at 35.2 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Rear USB charging ports as well. And beside those charging ports, you do have a little bit of storage there then as well. But then make your way up to the front seats. You'll find some end specific seats meaning you get enhanced bolstering as well as the end logo embroidered into the upper portion of those seats so definitely a cool look there and it definitely held me in place during my test drive leather suede combination is going to come standard i've always said that is my favorite finish to any seating heated front seats are going to come standard they are power adjustable by the way with two-way power lumbar for the driver as well which is pretty cool and overall like i said seats were incredibly comfortable not just because of the enhanced bolstering but because of the power lumbar and again the leather suede combo is pretty nice but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and you got that end logo found towards the bottom portion of that steering wheel as well Making our way then to the startup, let me start by showing you guys the key here. It is an end specific key. Of course, on the other side, you got lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear tailgate there. But I did want to also mention Hyundai Digital Key does come standard, meaning you just download the app and you can start up the car, unlock it, and lock it all through your phone. So you don't even have to carry your keys if you didn't want to. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my phone on the brake and press that engine start button. And so once started up, 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster does come standard on the Kona. And I love that drive modes substantially change the look on these gauges. I love that as well, especially that end mode, which is located on the steering wheel. That is gonna be one of the blue buttons, but that completely changes the look. But I always love digital gauge clusters because it is completely customizable. You can make it your own. And of course you have your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty so pretty much everything else you could possibly want up on those gauges then make your way to over interior quality overhead sunglass holder does come standard automatic climate control then as well meaning set your own temperature it's going to automatically hit that temperature for you there aluminum foot pedals coming standard you do have some rubberized storage just in front of the shifter as well as some usb charging ports there dual cup holders just behind the shifter and you do have a little bit of space then within that center armrest as well and so but now let's make our way to the infotainment screen of course you will find a 10 and a quarter inch colored touchscreen display to tie together with the 10 and a quarter inch gauge cluster. So I thought that was pretty cool. Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. Factory navigation system also coming standard. There is also a voice recorder app, meaning you can record your voice and then play it back at a later date, perhaps if you did not want to forget something. There is also quiet mode, meaning it eliminates the speakers in the back, maybe if your kids are sleeping and then limits them in the front. So it's kind of an interesting feature there. Of course, you can check out your radio information. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will get an eight speaker Harman Kardon sound system that does come standard. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next let's go ahead and turn to the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one okay the sound system is just okay it didn't blow me away 
not a ton of clarity, but the bass was okay, and I don't know. It's just an okay sound system. This is a performance car. I don't know that you're all that interested necessarily in the sound system. But anyways. So the last thing on the infotainment screen I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the Kona N in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, lane following assist, lane keep assist, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, and then driver attention warning system as well. It's so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Kona N, I love that NGS button, that red button on the steering wheel. It adds 10 horsepower for 20 seconds so essentially in my mind it's kind of like a nitrous mode so i love that i think that's super cool what other manufacturers are doing that really also an excellent exhaust note to this thing definitely heard a lot of pops when i was doing some manual shifting there so love that as well great transmission you got a dual clutch so huge fan of that as well excellent seats they were bolstered perfectly and again the leather suede combination is my personal favorite and if you were slightly worried about the turbocharged engine i really wouldn't be because you get a 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, which includes the engine and the transmission and the drive shaft, things like that. So little peace of mind there for you as well. Really the only room for improvement I can think of was it's kind of the boring interior quality. There's a lot of cheap black plastic that comes standard on this thing. And even if Hyundai were to put maybe a little design to that plastic, that would have been a heck of a lot better like they do in my Sonata take, for example. Just a little more attention to detail, even if it is still plastic. That's all I was thinking. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen. If you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after we all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Yeah.